So we're going to look at briefly at installing Arc Commander on Windows 10. And to do that, we'll open up R 64-bit and we'll run it as administrator. And that way, everyone who uses the computer will have access to it. We could just install it um, ourselves just by running R um, as it is. And so there's a lot of packages here to choose from, but if we do it through the menu system, then that will work the easiest. So let's just do it from the University of Melbourne, but you can use any um, mirror that you like. And so now we need to find our commander. So there's a lot of packages here. It's just near the top of R. And so we saw a whole lot there. So um, we'll just pick one. So we could add in some of the plugins and they can be quite useful. So for instance, we could add in, in uh, coin uh, and uh, and the teaching demos, for instance. Uh, plot by groups, another another useful one. So, but for this exercise, we'll just do these three. So I've type OK, and now starts to download um, a whole lot of dependencies as well. And as well as the um, the R commander, and then it unpacks all those dependencies. So this takes a, a little while, um, but once once that's done, um, we can type in library R commander just to check that it's worked okay. And we'll also see that that a couple of those packages were compiled. Um, that's all right. We just have to have to wait for it to do that. And now we can type in library R C M D R. Now, depending upon what's what's available on your system, you might find that that uh, it asks you to install a few more packages. But we're running administra as administrator here, so that'll be fine. And it says the following packages are missing, and so without these packages, some some package some features won't be available. So we say yes to install those. And we'll just install them off, off the CRAN mirror. And we'll see that uh, we get a little warning here. But that, that doesn't mean anything. It just means that that package um, or this function is is available from somewhere else other than the base package and and so we'll see that there's a whole lot of menus here and we can do all sorts of things um, so for instance we might uh, we might plot the normal distribution can I say okay and uh, and we'll we can see that we can just use um, use the menus and uh, but one thing is if we don't run in a single interface on Windows only this is then um, this window gets hidden away behind R itself and so it's best if we set up um, the single window interface here and so we'll we'll do that as part of setting up a shortcut uh, let's ex exit from Commander and R, 
and it'll ask us if we want to exit say OK uh, we won't save any of these files so we can see we've got two um, desktop icons here but we really only tend to use the the 64-bit one the bottom one um, and later on I want to um, I want to um, set up a, a shortcut and we'll just use documents on uh, this directory here so the easiest way to do this is to take a copy of this we can copy that and we can also paste it onto the desktop so it's a copy so let's rename that name it whatever we like if we call it our commander yeah. um, then um, then we can just set up the properties so that it runs our commander when we start up and if I right click again I can look at the properties and those properties will, will be um, there's the program itself the executable and it, it said it's better off running um, the single document interface so if I type in dash dash SDI then uh, then we can also set the default packages and the, and we can use our commander there so let's so let's do that um, I'll just show you in the document that I have here that we can use uh, use this as the target so if I just copy that R default packages equals R commander we can see below we could have more um, then um, if I paste that in there and then what I might like to do is I don't necessarily want to start in the in the um, in the program file directory what I'd pr prefer to do is to start in my say my documents directory so let's look at this there's my there's my documents and nothing in there at the moment I can just copy that address as text and I can just put it in here and so once I've done that I can say apply seems to work alright so press OK so we can we can now run our commander by double clicking on this icon you see that it comes up with a different interface here uh, and that if we do a plot so we might look at the distributions again we can um, say look at the uh, to plot the normal distribution and press OK and we see that two things happen we have we have some um, some syntax here that we could reuse later on if we wanted to we've got the output we've got our graphics window over here but by using the the SDI interface we can now uh, see our graph and it doesn't disappear all the time and the other thing that we can do is we can use the tools and we can uh, we can load those plugins so remember uh, we installed a couple of extra packages here and so t to um, run those I've just used the control and the and the left click to, to highlight those and um, and now we can uh, use them so we need to restart our commander to do that and so we'll see we've got some more menus up here some demos 
and and uh, some more more tests that we can do, and uh, and so we can look at um, we could look at something simple like uh, simple linear regression, uh, and uh, and so that's a um, so that's something we may wish to do. But I think I'll stop there and uh, leave it for you to play with our commander yourself. So we can exit and we'll exit from commander and R. And that's the end of the, the video.